remembering victims a year after the horrific VTA rail yard shooting. That and more coming up on SyncedIn. Hey everyone, it's been one year since the VTA shooting in San Jose, the deadliest mass shooting in Bay Area history. On May 26, 2021, a former employee of the transit agency went to the Guadalupe Light Rail Yard and killed nine employees, then shot himself. A public memorial was held today to remember the victims and honor their families. Let's, too, take a moment right now to remember the nine people who tragically lost their lives that day. We took a ride on his motorcycle and I spent six hours with my son. Not to know that that was the last time I was going to hug and kiss him goodbye. We will miss our colleagues who died that awful day a year ago and what happened is truly unthinkable. My hope is we continue to heal and move forward. We will never forget those we've lost or the loved ones they left behind. But we can together make VTA a better place in memory of them and of the community we serve. Earlier this month, VTA actually demolished Building B, the building where the shooting took place, saying it didn't want employees to ever have to go back in there. On Tuesday, San Jose City Council declared a day of remembrance for the victims. In Fremont, police arrested a 17-year-old boy on Wednesday who they say made threats on social media about shooting an employee at his high school, adding his comments also contained racial slurs. It was the school who reportedly notified authorities about the student's behavior. Investigators say they recovered a bunch of evidence during a search warrant at his home that revealed threats about opening fire at a secondary school as well. They did not find a firearm. The student was arrested, though, and booked into juvenile hall for felony threats and a hate crime. Somebody saw these things, somebody recognized it, and somebody decided to take action and come forward. I also see value that our school resource officers have a relationship with students, with school personnel, and I, I believe that is a bridge that also we appreciate having. Our news team is updating our website with the latest information about the mass shooting at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, Texas. We have an article with the timeline of the shooting, what we know so far, and what we still don't know. You can find that article by clicking this tab on our homepage. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.